So we're at the Unicorn Theatre in our first week of rehearsals. This is a revival of a piece that we made last year. Um, it's our first piece for children. Um, we were asked to make an adaptation of A Thousand One Nights, so Arabian Nights. When I first got the text and when I first started researching into Arabian Nights, my initial impression of it was that it was Aladdin. And um, that was my very kind of narrow idea of what we were doing and obviously then we started reading the text and actually the stories are very sophisticated and very of our time considering it was like a very early text which was found in like the 8th century. Uh, we are in the beginning of the process but already we can see how uh, playful this um, material is. Uh, we try to embody text and work with uh, different props and see how they can be animated to help the story, sometimes um, to see what is universal because uh, the two main characters, they don't share the same language in the beginning and how the story is attached to, to, to the family, to identity. Very layered and very open to interpretation. And the beautiful thing is that because the text is, is aimed at children, it's really, and because the original text was so sophisticated, it feels um, very mature, but being in the context of two young girls telling it to each other, something kind of beautiful about that juxtaposition. I was struck by how often the stories talk about exile, or losing a loved one, or being lonely, and um, it meant, because of the other work that I was doing at the time... Um, we have a contemporary setting for the play. Um, there is a family that is split up. Um, and we found stories of exile, and they do relate to this modern family yeah. in the play. Um, and I'm sure people will be able to relate to them in the same way we've been. And the different it. cultures. I mean, Arabian Nights was based on Egyptian... Persian, Arab, Indian, like Syrian, Syrian a really vast amount of cultures. So we've transplanted that to the UK where Asha Harazad is using the stories to understand her experience of leaving home and coming to somewhere new and not understanding language and feeling sad and lonely because she's, um, her family is being separated because of uh, events happening at home. And so that's become our, our version of uh, A Thousand and One Nights. So we're preparing all the production side of A Thousand and One Nights. James and Johnny are looking at the design and the build. Helen and Leo are working out the sound. Matt and Paul are looking at the lights and working out what kit we need. And I think we might be sneaking a little bit of video in as well. And then arranging the logistics of how to get all that kit to each venue. We're really excited to be going back to a few venues that we've been to before and really excited about going to some new venues as well and just working on that unique side of the show, fitting it into each space.